Hi, my name is Wonsuguchuku Alfred and folks call me the online millionaire because I teach people how to make money using the internet. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to record your first ever podcast using a simple software called Audacity. Okay, and um, in doing this simple recording, I'm going to be using three tools to actually arrive at what I'm trying to you know, show you today. The first of the tools that I'm going to be introducing to you is called Canva. And this is where we are. This is Canva. Canva.com. You can look at my mouse here. Canva.com. That's what I use to prepare these um, simple graphics for what I want to do. So to show you that it's all um, designed by me, I can delete all of this. You can see that I can I can delete I can click on this okay and delete you can see that everything here can be taken off to show you that you know so you can see that I can take this off so you can see that and these are the elements that I use in putting up this simple design for this uh, recording today so the next thing that I'm going to be introducing you into is the other three software proper. Okay, so this is the software, the one that I've downloaded. This is the software, this is the interface. And then the next thing I'm going to be showing you is um, my screen grabber, the one I'm using to, you know, actually record this training. Okay, you can see it here. It's called Camtasia. So you, in case you want to make something like this. So this is the, 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 the software that I'm using as screen grabber. So this is the screen grabbing um, feature of this particular software called Camtasia Studio. All right. So let's dive in deep into what I'm going to be showing you today, which is how to record your first ever podcast with Audacity. So um, first thing you need to do in case you don't have the Audacity software installed in your system, the next thing you want to do is to go to your browser and type in Audacity team dot org okay so this is the website this is what it looks like you can come here to you know um, download for windows download for mac download for linux download for um source but i will simply go here if i were to download this now and just click on this once i click on this and i select what i want so let me show you exactly so that you understand so I've clicked on this and uh, it has opened up another window for me to say download for Windows 10 because I am running Windows 10 on my system. Download for Mac OS, download for um, uh, secure, secure download, sorry, for GNU and Linux. So that's all for this. So let me go into the software proper because I don't have time for long sermon this morning. So I'm going to the Audacity software and I am using a very simple earpiece. In fact, the earpiece I am using is for Provo 3, um, Techno Provo 3 um, earpiece, okay, to show you that you don't need all the sophisticated gadgets to be able to get this done. So in my trainings, I like to use simple things to get simple things done. I also have sophisticated gadgets that I use, but for trainings like this, I intend this kind of trainings for newbies and people who are novice in the industry who most likely don't have the budget to start. So I show them with very simple things. So you can use a very simple um, earpiece as a microphone to do this, all right? First thing that I'm going to be showing you in this recording is the tools, you know, and the features in this software, in this um, software. So first of the features that I'm going to be showing you is this set of features. One, this is the pause in case you are recording already. In case you are recording already, you want to stop, you click here and uh, you want to play back what you have recorded. You click on the play button. You want to um, stop your recording uh, completely. You click here. You want to skip backwards. You want to skip forward. You want to record. Okay. You want to record. You click here to record. So first thing first, I'm going to be creating um, a new file. So I want to open a new 
document uh, not document rather I'm, I'm opening a new file I'm gonna be opening a new file so I click on here and I click new okay so that is it and um, the next thing I'm gonna be clicking is to record so I am here with my beautiful wife by my side as she is watching television while I record watching television on her phone while I record so this is just a test drive so if I play this out I'm gonna be playing this out so that you can hear it I'm gonna play it I'm unplugging the uh, earpiece that I'm using as a microphone for this recording so I want to play this out so you can hear so I'm gonna be playing uh, back this audio that I recorded initially to show you how this works all right it doesn't really take it in and to achieve a clean recording like this if you are using your laptop ensure that your power supply is disconnected from your um, laptop otherwise there will be so much distortion in the voice you are recording and it will make it unpalatable to the ears of your listeners and they wouldn't want to engage your content anymore all right so to ensure that you have something as clean as mine with a very low budget low gadget uh, okay observe the procedures you know that i'm taking to make this recording and it doesn't really take a thing it's no rocket science it's super simple if i can do it you can do it if you can do it the next man can do it you don't need to be extremely smart you don't need to be hyper intelligent to be able to achieve this so let me play back this recording to show you yeah come your way next time i remember when Sugochuku alfred and folks call me the online millionaire because i teach people how to make money online using because i teach people how to make money using the internet so let's go back to the other side so i'm here with my beautiful wife watching television while i record she's watching a program on her phone while i record it's super simple so um always make sure that you disconnect your power source when recording so that you can have a very clean recording and remember this recording was done with the Povo 3 um, earpiece okay as a microphone so you don't need all the expensive microphones to start you don't need all the expensive um, uh, audio console to start and all that you don't need all of that stress if we are just about starting okay because you are low on budget you are low on skill use what you have and be able to make the most out of what you have when the money starts coming you can then invest into you know high budget equipment so the last thing is whenever you are recording observe this please make sure that it's not showing red or orange okay make sure that you are always at uh, minus 12 to minus 6 okay minus 12 to minus 6 okay to be sure that your voice is not blasting your audio is not blasting so let me explain that um, with a little explanation here so i'm gonna hit record now so when you are when you are recording make sure that you are always within the safe zone that's minus 12 to minus 6 all right minus 12 to minus 6 and let me show you when it blasts ah you see it shows red ah it shows red meaning that it's blasting and it's messing up your recording so always ensure that you are within minus 12 to minus 6 to make sure that your voice at is at the top range where it should be and it's not exceeding the top range where it should be so that you don't have a low uh, quality recording as well so um, i'm going to be stopping this and after that the next thing you might want to do is to just come to this place to export by default uh, audacity you know um, exports as mp3 okay so you just click on mp3 to fulfill all righteousness so i say web that's why i'm saving the file as so mp3 files presets i just leave it at the, the way it is now so i want to you know uh, export i can just say export as stereo export as joint stereo depending so i just click on save i want to save it to my uh music library so i go to saving music okay and uh, the next thing i want to do now is to just say okay 
and I okay it to export and it's exporting. So once that's done, I just go to my music library, okay? And automatically it's supposed to just come up and play. That's how it does on my system, so, but I don't know. So, but I will just go to my music library and I say, web. Well, this is the file that I exported, so. I just open it, I right click on it to play and I say open it with a uh, group music. So I'm opening, with, opening it with group. Okay, so that it plays. Wait for it. So I think there we have it. So I'm here with my beautiful wife. Watching television so while I record. So you can edit in. There. She's watching a program on her phone while. So there is nothing in it. So I think that's where we come to the end of this. Okay. So from here, from now, I remain your friend, your host, and your brother. Most good school Alfred and folks call me the online millionaire because I simply teach people how to make money using the internet. From now, it's going to be bye. Ti, come your way next time.